Hey guys, this is Julian from Driven with Julian. Today we met up with some members of the Lone Star Region Porsche Club of America to do a morning drive out on some back roads before stopping in Navasota, Texas for breakfast. We had a smaller group of around seven cars, which definitely made this drive more fun and engaging than some of the larger morning tours we've done. I encourage you to stay for the end of the video where we finish up with some shenanigans on a goat farm, a location we never originally intended to go to, but made it all that much more worthwhile. Hope you enjoy the video. As you can see, we aren't the only motor enthusiasts here. Whether you do a tour of any sort, whether you're in a car club or with your buddies, it's important to have a good starting point. Here in Texas, we like to meet up at Bucky's for weekend morning drives. There are plenty of places to park, opportunities to fill up for gas, very clean restrooms, and great snack and beverage options. We recommend choosing a location that is both convenient and efficient, depending on the size of your group and the route you plan on taking. Let's head inside. Make sure you buy drinks to stay hydrated and use the restroom. It can be hot on these rural back roads and the group won't wait for you if you decide to look for an outhouse. Our drive today featured every generation of the modern water-cooled 911s, as well as one air-cooled. We have a 997.24S Cabrio in dark blue metallic, a 991.14S in rhodium silver, another white 991.14S with the optional aero kit, a 996.2 Carrera finished in optional cobalt blue, and a 991.1S finished in aqua blue, not depicted here as a 992S Cabrio and a 993 Cabrio. A lot of safety prep goes on beforehand to ensure no unwanted surprises occur during the drive. Drivers are armed with walkie-talkies to keep an open and immediate line of communication for the lead car to make callouts or in the case of an emergency. And of course, radar detectors come in handy from getting unwanted speeding tickets. Always have a driver's meeting to discuss the route, any planned stops, or any concerns people may have about the drive. Our group drives in single file and does not allow passing. It's an extra liability to risk when you're speeding on two-lane back roads. From this point, we'd finished about a third of our route, so we decided to finish somewhere to stop for photos. The beauty of rural Texas really shines in its small towns. There are almost always photogenic locations to choose from, making your car stand out when you are truly in the middle of nowhere.
We stopped for photos at a local courthouse and some nearby antique stores in Anderson, Texas. The contrast of southern architecture and patina goes great when you see the road presence these cars give off. I encourage you to take photos of your car in cool places whenever you get the chance. It doesn't matter if you don't have a cool car or a good camera. Good photos can come from anywhere. For example, here's a photo I took of my Honda Accord on an iPhone. Let's get back on the road. Our next stop was in Navasota, Texas, where we got breakfast at the Classic Rock Coffee Company. This place has great ambiance and memorabilia all over the place. Even the menu is tailored to fit the theme. One of the best parts about drives like these is that it allows us to help out small local businesses. It's also a lot more fun than getting the same standard order you get at any corporate restaurant chain. Stops like these are great for breaking up the drive, as while we come for the cars, we stay for the people. After breakfast, we ended up stopping off at the Blue Heron Farm just north of Waller, Texas, where they make their very own goat cheese. The owner was very generous and gave us a tour of the property. And of course, we got to play with baby goats. Enjoy. If this is content you enjoy, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.